Greetings, it's Vagram, back again with another video. I'm back in my adventure world, ready to make some progress. Now, I'm getting organized this time. I've got myself a list, a punch list of things that I want to go through and things that I want to do. Now, first thing, mod updates. I've updated a lot of mods. I've added one new one. Uh, the new one you might notice immediately on the right side of my screen, which is... Uh, armor status HUD. That is uh, Beast Beakers, the same person that makes Tree Capitator. I already have Tree Capitator in my pack. I already has his core file in my pack. I decided to go ahead and add armor status HUD anyway. It's super useful. And as you can see, it even shows what's in my hand currently. In addition to numbers of items if I have consumables or disposables. Very, very nice, very useful. I love it very much. Now, you probably also notice I do not have my jetpack on. I do have my jetpack. Trusty jetpack. It's right there. I'm just not walking around with it all the time. There were some circumstances where I needed some extra armor. And I decided to make a chest plate and only wear the uh, uh, jetpack during certain circumstances. Now, I've also updated Ars Magica, which is where that thing over there comes in. And I'm real thrilled about that. I can't wait to show it to you, but we'll get back to that in just a second. Uh, thermal Expansion, CFOH Core, and Ars, uh, Red Arsenal. I'm sorry, Redstone Arsenal have all been updated to the release versions. Uh, let me think. Carpenter Blocks has a bug fix release. Mariculture had a bug fix release. Big Reactors had a bug fix release. And uh, Ender IO had a bug fix release. So, uh, yeah, that's a good bugs getting stomped, which is very, very good for us. So, um, Ars Magica 2, actually, the update that had was um, content as well as bug fixes. So I'm very, very excited about that. Um, unintended progress. Now, I wanted to make some temporary tools. I don't have a forge smeltery yet. I have its uh, tinkerer's construct set up to require a smeltery if I want to make any parts or any weapons, any tools, basically, that require metal parts. Uh, which means I can only make stuff on this that's non-metal. And that's quite a limitation, but I decided to try and work within it. So what I got was some obsidian, which is what I have right there. I got some bone that I use for handles. And in the case of my tool pick, I actually used paper to get an extra modifier slot put all these together and basically made some weapons that turned out to be far better than I actually thought they would. As you can see, this redstone, uh, I mean this uh, obsidian head pickaxe, it mines obsidian level, which means I can do obsidian, diamonds, anything like that. It's got a great mining speed in part to two, two uh, uh, levels of uh, redstone on it. I am still stacking up as much lapis as I can to get fortune from that. Fortune's always useful. And uh, it's got no durability because the bone has handle has almost no durability. But I actually put redstone flux on it in the form of a leadstone battery. And basically what that means is this is no longer durability-based, but charge-based. I can recharge it, and I'll show you how I can do that in the basement down later. Um, sword. I put a little bit of blaze powder since I had some to dispose of after our nether trip from last episode. Also flux. I no longer have to worry about uh, repairing this, just recharging it. I put some quartz and about four uh, pistons, as you can see by the funny little graphic, for knockback. Knockback, just having a little bit of knockback can really help, especially when you're fighting wither skeletons in the nether, which I would like to start doing at some point soon. Now, I don't consider any of these tools to be long-term tools, but they have turned out to be far better in the short term than I thought they would. So that was kind of unintended progress on my part. I did not mean to make this level of an advancement uh, without you guys, and I do apologize for that. Now, as you'll notice, um, one benefit that these tools get from an obsidian head is reinforced three, which is very, very nice. Unfortunately, that doesn't carry over to the uh, redstone flux. So <laughs> it, it lasted for a little while until I repaired them once and then put chargeability on them. And uh, now that they're redstone flux chargeable, that reinforced three is kind of wasted. I guess unless I run out of battery power and keep using them. But thankfully, I'll never have to really do that because 400,000 RF goes a long ways. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, 
technically speaking, I could still put a diamond and a gold block on this pick and still get another modifier slot over here, but I haven't worried about that yet, and I've got uh, better things that my gold needs to go to right now. Uh, I've got my nice hatchet, shovel, pickaxe, and longsword, but I still strive to make a smeltery from Tinkerer's Construct because I want to make a hammer, and the fastest hammers out there are made from metal parts, but we'll get to that point later. So, um, let's see. Back on the mod updates, we actually have uh, Ars Magica 2 added a lot of content. Hello. I think we just got struck by a meteor somewhere. Okay, well, I'll go back to that later. Ars Magica 2 got updated. One of the things that they actually updated to Ars Magica 2, uh, Ars Magica, right here, the Magician's Workbench. Very, very cool. Two crafting tables, one piece of carpet, apparently has to be white. Uh, I tried another piece of black carpet I had and it didn't work. Um, any two slabs, one log, and two pieces of wood and a chest. What you get is this fabulous interface right here. Now what you are seeing is true. All of this is inventory storage, which is very, very nice. You'll also notice over here, it remembers... I'm going to say either eight or nine, the last nine items. It might be eight, though. And uh, basically, it remembers the last eight items. Uh, you have a standard 3x3 three three crafting grid, but you also have a 2x2. Two two, and that is a crafting grid. I've already checked it once. So I'm a little perplexed about this part, but I'll figure it out later. Now, as you can see, I have a collection of parts over here. One thing that I have actually made already is an golden lasso from extra utilities the golden lasso is very very useful in that it lets you right click and pick up a, a uh, animal you can't use it on monsters but you can use it on cows sheep pigs etc etc and i need sheep i have a distinct lack of uh wool in my inventory and more and more things are calling for wool so i'd like to start a sheep farm which means i need two to start with i already have one of these as you can see right here, I made it, but I have the ingredients, thankfully. I'm just going to pull a second one out, and now I have enough lassos that I can go find myself a mating pair of sheep, which will be very, very nice. Uh, I'm going to actually go sleep, because I believe it's nighttime, then go find myself some sheep. I will rejoin you shortly. Okay, I'm out back of the house, right there. I seem to remember there were some sheep down this way. Now... I've discovered something very, very weird. This is a long sword that I've made, and it's got a right-click ability to leaping attack. Not too bad, not too bad. Short distance gives you a little bit of an extra critical strike if you hit something while jumping. I have discovered a very unintended benefit, however. If you charge it up all the way and then jump and then release, you can really clear a good distance, uh, which makes for great jumping over short chasms and gorges in ravines. I've actually used it a couple of times while mining because of that. So, that's a nice benefit. Uh, episode 2, I think, I talked about that village. That is the village that I found. As you can see, there's still some crops over there that I have not plundered. But otherwise, the village is empty. There's uh, no villagers there. I don't know what happened to them, but they did not survive the first few nights of Minecraft, unfortunately. So, I'm just looking for some sheep. Oh, random bit of rotten flesh. Let's see... Aha! Bushes. I love these bushes. They're added by Tinker's Construct, and they're a great way to get food. Despite the fact that the berries themselves don't add a lot to your food bar, you can actually use these and other berries and make what's called a berry medley, which is pretty much the same as steak in terms of replenishment of food. So, I'm going to get these. Now we go back on the hunt for sheep. Here, sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Okay, for the first time in a while, I've actually just found some ice, which I need for a lot of my mariculture work, and I've discovered something very interesting. I didn't actually have any form of silk touch right now. I was worried that this wasn't going to work. But, see these. Thanks to Chisel, I have ice. <laughs> sheep one, right click. Sheep two, right click. 
So now, sheep, sheep, and I can go home. Okay. I've got myself a pair of sheep. Now, I think I'm going to put them down. Now I want to clear this out. Because I don't want any old monster just walking into the pen. Okay, now the magic happens. Insta sheep. And I fully plan on doing the same thing with a pair of cows and probably a pair of pigs later on as well. But as it stands right now, that will suffice just fine. What I need to do next is get some of my iron. I think I have some of this in here. Yes, I do. Now, what we do... First things first. I would like a little sheep, please. Something in white. So adorable. <laughs> Neat trick that I discovered that I could do. Okay. You're not big enough and... You two are too tired. Up we go. Oh. Up we go. <laughs> Very useful ability. Okay. So now, we have sheep. We have a source of wool. And... We... Slowly getting more organized. I think the storage room's coming along very nice, by the way. Um, that is a set of stairs up there, which means those don't count as a full block, so I can have chests all the way up to that line. I just don't have enough resources to do that many iron chests right now, and generally speaking, I don't have that much stuff. Um, bank of Java chests, and I also have hidden doors, thanks to carpenters. Blocks right there. Very, very nice, very nice. Ah, uh, we wanted to do something with that, didn't we? Chanting plus. You can make an upgrade. I have blaze powder now. Thanks to our trip to the nether. I actually have. One last eye of ender left. That's one, two, three, four, one, two, and I need a book. Put my shears away. No. Declutter my inventory ASAP. I need one of those. 
Oh, heavens to Betsy. Do I actually not have any feathers? I don't have any feathers. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, guess what I'm going to go wrangle next? Chickens! Ooh, wait a minute. I don't even have eggs. Wow. Okay, I'll be right back, folks. Okay. I'm back. And I have chickens. You're getting company. Whether you like it or not. I'm going to put those away. And actually, I'm curious about... Well, first things first... Uh, I've got to say, by the way, after using that magician's uh, workbench some, I'm very impressed with it as an alternative. impressed with that workbench as an alternative to the normal workbench or even to the crafting suite project bench it's got so much space it actually has two different crafting grids which technically means you can actually have one project laid out over here and do quick four uh two by two patterns over here which is very nice and it saves your last set of uh, uh recipes plus with either one of these let's clear that It'll tell you components missing, which is real nice. Okay, now we've gone over dark craft and some of the weird things you can do with the porous wrench. I'm going to show you something you can actually do that is very strange with dark craft that most other normal mods probably wouldn't do in their right mind. You have dark craft shears, right? Where did the chickens go? You can shear chickens with dark craft shears. Not just sheeps. Sheeps and sheeps and sheeps. You can shear chickens and get feathers off of them, which I have two of now. You can actually shear cows and get leather and they eat grass to grow it back. It's very, very convenient, but it's also kind of sick and twisted, so not sure how I feel about that. Uh, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, but what I do need is one of those. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Let's put all this in here. Oh, it doesn't actually support. That's interesting. And then we do those, that in either corner, and this at the bottom. Chanting table upgrade. What this lets me do, first, I get the snappy advanced chanting table upgrade. Looks better than the normal table, but what you can do, here's the awesome part. Player level 29. Repair cost to repair it one level. My helmet is now fine. Now, I have no bookshelves around this, which I need to remedy, but I don't have that done yet. Ten levels max. Here's what I can do. I can pull that off. Oh, I didn't put that on there, so I can't. That's right. If I put an enchantment on, I could actually pull it off if I wanted to. I could do, do one level of Aqua Affinity, enchanting cost, one level. One level of Respiration. How much is two? Three. Oh, yeah. Nice new helmet. And never hungry. I have a couple of weird new enchantments showing up that have not shown up before. I don't know if it's the upgrade to 
Ars Magica 2, or if it's Mara Culture or what, but uh, some of them I'm not real fabulous on. I'm going to crank that all the way up to three. I still have 23 levels left. Repair, please. Blast Protection I'm actually going to keep. Um, unbreaking. Enchant. One up. Only shows up on the chest. I don't know what that is. Focus Punch. Don't know what it is. Uh, boom. Actually, I'm going to boost that a level. Repair. Still have 17 levels left. Unbreaking 3. Now there's full resistance. I think that's different than Featherfall. I think it stacks. Leapfrog, Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm not real big on those because they make your uh, make you even harder to control. There is, however, a scent boost. I do that at 1. I think this is either Enchanting Plus or mechanism i'm actually not sure where this mod comes from but basically it adds one block to your jump height instead of being able to jump two you can jump three it's not real heavy it's not real game breaking and it doesn't really kill your control ability so uh very very nice feather fall i'm maxing that one thank you very much um protection i'm actually going to put in protection one on that unbreaking how much? And there we go, folks. Fully enchanted armor. Using the Enchanting Plus upgrade mod. I really, really like it. It means you can put a lot more use to your other... Uh, to your levels. You can put more uses to it by being able to repair your equipment. It means certain levels of equipment, certain types of equipment goes farther which I actually kind of like, but there's still a cost to it. I'm spending levels in order to do that, and there's actually a pretty steep curve, depending upon the material. The armor I've got right now is Osmium, and it actually is kind of medium-low on the hit point scale, which is why it's not real expensive to repair. So if you don't mind going back constantly and reusing your levels a lot, it's not bad. Later on, I'll probably do some upgrades. Now, it is setting. I'm going to go sleep, and then we can address the boat in the morning. Okay. So, just a quick show, a quick example of a scent boost one. Straight over a fence, straight back out. By the way, you notice, I sheared that chicken and it's back to normal. This one will be soon, too. Uh, what's even scarier, let's see if I can do that better this time. That's some real height I can get, but thankfully... I have some better damage mitigation. Why am I walking this egg over here? I need it. Over there. Damn it. I was hoping for another chicken. I have been planting some cotton from Project Red, I believe it is. No, it's an insurer. I'm sorry. Planted some cotton plants so I could actually get a steady supply of string, which is very, very nice. I've got some bushes going over here from uh, Natura also. Raspberry bush. I need to plant some of those blueberry bushes. And uh, quite a ways... I have to remember quite a ways that way to the east is an apple orchard. And I got, as you can see right here in the bottom left, this is basically an apple tree from Biomes of Plenty. You just let them grow and you get a steady supply of apples. I love finding these trees. Apples don't do a lot for nourishment, but this is basically means that I don't have to worry long term about food, I can focus on other things, which is awesome. I'm going to put those away. Okay, so we were going to look at the Whitehall. This is my punt. Now, I had some stuff in the chest, which I just got back. And I need to make a couple of more of these in order to... I actually think I have wool now. I do. By the way, in case anybody doesn't know how I'm doing this, if you hold your mouse pointer over an item and just, I think this is either inventory tweaks, I think it's inventory tweaks, you just scroll your mouse wheel up and you can notch stuff into your inventory one at a time. It's a very nice way to do it. I really love being able to do fine-tuned control like that. Whoa. 
Okay. Um, let's go over to our newfangled. Now, if I remember right. Yep, these require boats. And what I need to do, put sticks right there. And we have more punts. What am I going to do with multiple punts? I'll show you. Three, and you get a white hall, ladies and gentlemen. I give you the white hall. Double masted, double sailed, two chests side by side, which means you can separate your inventory. Now, this thing is big, it's nice, and I can actually, I think, yep, I can move around by clicking on seats in different positions. And only the back middle steers, but this is a perfect example of one of the boats from Small Boats that lets you carry other passengers. It actually is supposed to work, I haven't tried this yet, but it's supposed to work in server multiplayer as well, which is very, very nice. I very much like this boat. All the boats from Small Boats are very sturdy. Ooh, tainted biome. Uh, are very, very sturdy, very easy to use, very simple to pilot. Uh, they're very functional as well. I've got a pair of double chests down here that I can actually make use of, and I definitely will. Now, this one has a slightly deeper draft than my other one did. I don't think. No, I can, actually. There's one chest. There's another one. Shift to dismount. And I think I'm going to have to get a shovel and lower out this entire section of the water. I think that'll make it easier to pull it up to the actual edge right here. But that is the Whitehall, ladies and gentlemen. That is the upgrade to the punt. Now, the next step up is the hoy. You have to imagine this thing is basically two punts front to back. The Whitehall is basically two... Uh, two uh, I'm sorry, the... Uh, yeah, the Whitehall is basically... No, the Hoy is the big one. Yeah, the Hoy is basically two white halls back to back. So, uh, yeah, these boats get pretty big and pretty massive. Um, I'm not sure if you can walk around the Hoy or if you can only mount it like a vehicle. Um, but anyway. Okay. So, um, thermal expansion. I was going to make some thermal expansion machines. I actually even have the materials to do so right here, but... It turns out I don't need to because I found a way to get ice thanks to chisel. And ice will let me pursue some mariculture needs um, later on. Um, this is me basically using Ascent Boost 1, as you can see. It adds a good amount of height, but it does not kill my controllability. I don't feel like I can't get up into certain doorways or into certain heights. There is a point where if you jump so high, like in Machine Muse Power Armor, some of that power armor jumping capabilities or speed running capabilities makes it so hard to fine tune and control your character that I just don't like it. Um, so, in this episode, we've upgraded our enchanting table. I think next episode I'd like to get that and move it up onto the roof and make some space up there, make some use of the space up there by putting up bookshelves. I would also like to start looking into Ars Magica research. I really do think that there's some amazing things in store for us in that mod in terms of uh, magical capabilities and even some of the tools and toys. Um, I might also look into the uh, mariculture that I've been missing out on because I have ice now. Now, there is one last thing that I've been wanting to do. Uh, igneous. Can I spell igneous? Oh, dear God, I can. I want... Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Put that back. And let's see. Ah, yes. And I'm short of redstone. I'm going to make an igneous extruder. Why am I going to make an igneous extruder? Well, I'll tell you why. I have a big project in mind. This right here is not always going to be our base. I have a plan to expand. And I'm actually going to take some cues and inspiration from one certain gentleman by the name of Zisto on the Mindcrack server. Zisto is a big project man, and he's got a couple of builds that I've been really impressed with. Number one was their previous season on the Mindcrack server, which is vanilla. It's not modded Minecraft. But he had this massive base, a sky base. It was called the Lens. It was magnificent. And he is now building a second one on the new season, which is even more amazing looking that I'm going to take some information inspiration from but I'm gonna need a lot of cobblestone a lot of smooth stone actually and I plan to set up an igne igneous extruder for just that fact I'm going to set it to fill up a barrel and I'm going to keep upgrading that Java barrel until I can get as much smooth stone as I can get my hands on then we're going to build up and it's going to be magnificent. So I'm going to go ahead and continue that. I'm going to get this little project up and running. I think we've done really good for this episode, and I think this is a good wrapping up point. Thank you very much for joining me. I very much cannot wait to hear your suggestions. Uh, like the hall. The white hall was a suggestion by a viewer. Somebody commented that they wanted to see me upgrade the boat. Well, it's been upgraded, and you've seen exactly what this bad boy looks like, so you know what's in store for you. Uh, so yeah, give me your suggestions, put in requests. What would you like to see me delve into? What would you like to see me do? What do you think I'm doing wrong? What tips and advice do you have that I may not know about? This is Vagram. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.